I've been asked to speak to you as uh, one of the early members of the, this organization. My uh, first uh, encounter of issues uh, began in uh, 1953 when uh, I was asked to serve as Secretary of Treasury, but not officially, during an organizational meeting. I like so many organizational meetings with uh, but a few members. Uh, the issues were uh, surrounded during the first few years with long discussions of who we were to take as new members. Uh, the uh, issues were finally solved in 1954, Dr. Ed Lambert was uh, chairman of the committee that was to bring uh, recommendations for the criteria of new members. It was uh, uh, bannered about uh, and modified from their recommendations reported by him to the fact that it um, was important that the individual had uh, made uh, one or two papers, and preferably a, uh, a, one of the scholarly papers would have, was to have been presented uh, either before or at the meeting that year. Uh, that seemed to solve a lot of the discussion, and uh, uh, one of the other issues that uh, uh, came up uh, in the uh, following years uh, was, of course, the, the one of the lack of funds. I can remember uh, that uh, to send out a newsletter, which was uh, first issues in 1955, that there were insufficient funds to uh, cover the mailing. And as a result, uh, they came out of the University of Michigan's uh, budget without uh, a little criticism. Um, in uh, the uh, years of 63, uh, it began uh, with a discussion of a written examination. And uh, uh, this, uh, in turn, uh, led to the formation of the American Board of Physical Medicine. I might add that uh, we had uh, uh, 81 members in uh, 1957, and uh, uh, the uh, cash on hand in 1958 was what's uh, uh, $1,820. Uh, this uh, gives you some idea that uh, the organization grew slowly, but it was only uh, during the last uh, 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 1950s that we began to accelerate. Uh, my fondest memory uh, of serving as president in 1962 and 3 was uh, that the uh, organization became incorporated in Rochester. The incorporation uh, was uh, primarily through the, uh, Dr. Jasper Dobby, uh, Ed Lambert, and uh, uh, an attorney by the name of Alexander Keith. He uh, was the attorney for the uh, Mayo Clinic, and they uh, were very charitable in their contributions to get us incorporated. The reason we, one of the reasons we uh, went to uh, Mayo Clinic was the fact that uh, uh, the charges for incorporation in the state of Minnesota were nil. But in other states, it got to be quite expensive. Uh, I also recall that we thought of Florida, but at that time, the cost to, to get incorporated in Florida was uh, exorbitant. I feel that uh, the newsletter, which was started in 1955, was a genuine asset. First, we had uh, only funds to uh, uh, make that uh, newsletter uh, available to uh, members, but uh, 
eventually uh, it got to be uh, uh, available on demand. 